Hi, just thought I'd do you a quick update on the progress of the bobber. Um, basically, most of the fab, fab work's done on the on the frame, or the rear frame, horns and all that's all tidied up, ground smooth. Um, got the engine out, which wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Now there's one or two things on the internet about taking the engine out, blah blah blah. Um, some poor guy was struggling for hours and hours and hours laying it on its side and trying to get the engine out but the best way seems to be the factory way which is take the gearbox out or the middle drive box out the oil tank and stuff and take that off the side of the engine uh, the middle gear section just comes out as one unit really not much to say about that you don't need to take it all apart like they say on the book all you need to do take the outer case off undo the big nut and then once you've done the, the drive shaft on the other side which is this one turn it around this one once you get that off and um, pull that off and it all comes out the other side it's quite straightforward really lay the frame down once you've done undone all the engine mounts you can literally lay it over and the engine comes out the right hand side um, once you take the engine mounts off off of the frame drop all them off it literally just lifts up a little bit and then comes out um, so that wasn't a big deal the only big deal was that the bottom engine mount bolt the front one was corroded into the into the uh, casing so I had to cut that out um, which is going to be a repair job a bit later um, that was to be expected really because the British weather is pretty really hard on them and if these bolts aren't put put in greased then they corrode against the aluminium so anyway that's that we've got the engine out um, engine has got a few things we noticed one little thing which was quite interesting these bolts here, which hold the neutral light in, is the little bolt at the bottom that actually came come loose and come out and it was sitting down in the casing, um, which was a bit dodgy, but good job I had it apart because I wouldn't have found it otherwise. Um, the next thing is to clean clean the engine up, and uh, got to take this head off because we've got some oil coming out the port like I said before um, that's not good uh, hopefully it's just a valve guard or something I'll take the head off check that out um, sort these out all the chromes lifting off these so these might be de-chromed and polished the frame now has gone off to the powder coaters along with the tank and the front and rear fender I was going to have them clear coated but on second thought I'm talking to the powder coater not such a good idea to put clear straight on bare metal so I sat and had to think about it and looked at some, some different colours and bits and pieces so I've, I've changed my mind a hundred times on the colours but it's going to be root beer um, with cream or beige um, accent lines don't know if you ever saw the tank but the tank's got checker plate on the sides in the into the tank that's going to be cream and the rest of the tank rear fenders and the frame is going to be root beer um, so yeah that's about it for now I'll hopefully get the frame back soon and I'll update you with a, a full video of the uh, all the new paint bye see you soon